Did you know that just 15 minutes of movement a day can boost your energy, reduce your risk of having diseases or developing diseases, and add years of life? Today, we're breaking down low cost, effective ways, age appropriate exercises, and simple habits to stay consistent. No gym required. Let's check in. Children and teens aged 5 to 17 years of age need at least one hour of daily activity, running, playing soccer, or even jump roping can boost their health and their focus. I really love team-based sports here because it just obviously provides an exercise, but also provides an extra layer of support and camaraderie, discipline, and working within a team environment. Now for adults 18 to 64 years of age, I know that's a pretty broad spectrum, a broad range, but there's a lot of variability, right? That's involved with that, but it is recommended for at least 150 minutes of moderate activity weekly. That's brisk walking, cycling, and I would add strength training at least twice a week. Think about body weight exercises like squats and push-ups. Personally, I prefer hit exercises and calisthenics. For older adults, 65 plus, for seniors, I like a mix of different modalities. Aerobic, strength, balance, and flexibility exercises is key. Try gentle yoga or resistance bands to stay strong and also prevent falls. If you're 80 plus or know someone that's 80 plus, I would focus on light resistance and low intensity aerobic activities like chair exercises or slow paced walks to maintain mobility. Now, if you're deciding between daily versus weekly exercises, I have the answer for you. Regular movement is what matters the most. Daily exercise provides consistent health benefits, but studies show four to five days a week also works wonders. Start small, even just 15 minutes a day reduces mortality. Okay, here's my go-to movement of the day. My morning walks with my beautiful Husky Frida. And those who have a Husky or no Huskies, they have to be walked pretty frequent. If not, they're gonna destroy the house. So it's simple, it's refreshing, and it's easy to stick with. I would also consider doing post-mill walks for at least 10 minutes. It lowers your sugar spikes, with thus obviously prevents chronic diseases and insulin resistance in the future. I like to work out, do a quick strength training right before showering. It takes about five minutes, but I link up showering with something I have to do every day with this. And so boom, that's where the magic happens. So try to link up habits together, especially ones that are essential and you got it. All right, here's some tips and tricks. So first off, you have to schedule it. Treat exercise like any appointment you can't miss. Find a buddy, work out with a friend or family member for accountability. Definitely goes a long way. Make it fun and enjoyable. You can do dancing, you can hide, you can play a sport. Whatever that keeps you moving is the key. Start small. Set achievable goals like 10 minutes a day or build on top of that. It's stackable and it's A-OK. -okay. Now it's your turn. What's your favorite way to stay active? Please share it in the comments below. I love to hear it. I also love to be your hype doctor or your hype coach. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more helpful content because in my next video, I go into how to use fuel, basically food, to help boost your metabolism, also keep you healthy and keep you stronger and keep you more energized. Let's continue to make communities healthier one step at a time. You have the power. Let's get it. Talk to you next time.